Welcome again to this other God guided meditation. Today is stress relief. And I want you in your favorite position. A position where you feel you can conquer the stress. A position where you're ready to prime your soul, your entire nervous system, your body, your mind, everything. Where you're ready to tell it to stress less and find a solution because this is what we're going to do today it's going to be a great one it's going to be phenomenal and gently closing your eyes in that comfortable position just feel your whole body mold onto whatever you're lying on or sitting on just feel it understand that chair you're sitting on was made for you was made with you in mind that bed you're lying on, that pillow, was molded to perfection just for you. The manufacturer created it with you in mind. They knew you'd come here on this day for this purpose. And they were ready for you. They were ready. And so am I. So are we. So with your eyes closed, I want you to just gently soften your face, taking big deep breaths in through your nose, just feeling the air just cleanse your whole body all the way from your head, your neck, your ears, your shoulders, your stomach, your waist, exhaling out. As you inhale, I want you to inhale good positive thoughts. In through your nose, and hold it as it cleanses your mind, your body, your soul, your arms, your fingers, your fingertips, your pelvic muscles, your thighs, your knees, and exhaling out big deep breath. Again, imagine this candle in your stomach. And the more that comes in, the more air that comes in, the bigger it gets, the brighter it gets, shining a light on everything. So as you inhale, inhale massively cleansing your mind, your body, your arms, <sighs> releasing any tension there is through your thighs, your ankles, your toes, your legs, just releasing any tension, just feeling it circling at X all the way around, out through your mouth. <sighs> Do one more. Do it for yourself. Feel it. Enjoy it. Good. Very good. Okay. Today, I've got a story for you. I want you to brace yourself. Get yourself in the comfortable position. You know how we used to love listening to stories as kids. Yeah, I want to get you in that state of mind. Yeah, get yourself in that body. And so, one day there was this man. We used to work at a local accounting firm and what he would do every morning he'd wake up and he'd head out for work and then on his way back there was this dog that would always bark but it was okay because it was in the yard then one day while he's doing his daily tasks and he's coming back home after being dropped off in the bus he sees his dog is un untied. The gate is wide open. So this dog chases him. So in complete fear, he rushes home and he runs home. And he's like, huh, I wonder what happened. So the next day, the same thing happens. As he's going home, this dog is untied and he has to run home to get away from it. And the day after, and the day after, and the day after, this went on for maybe two weeks and one day he was just frustrated he had just had it work had been horrible life at home was just not working so he's like no that dog when it comes at four o'clock to chase me i'm not gonna run i'm gonna face it and i'm gonna kick it if i have to 
I'm not scared. I'm not running anymore. And for sure, the same thing happened. He jumped off the bus. As he's walking, he gets to that corner and the dog comes rushing out, barking. And at first he did run. But then he said, wait a minute. And he stopped. And he turned at the dog. And as the dog got close, he realized, this dog has no teeth. <laughs> now, he turned to it and he said, get out, go on, get out of here. And the dog just ran away, went on to its way. And tell that story because <laughs> it's humorous, yes. But deeper than that, sometimes we run from things with no teeth problems with no teeth and when we see them when we hear them we think man this is a big dog this is a big problem it's about to bite me all over have me for dinner but truth is most of the time when you face it head on when you do the things that you really really fear doing the things you don't want to do you realize it's not as bad as you thought it would be you realize it's just a dog with no teeth it's not about doing it when it's convenient or when it feels right it's about doing it right now when the time is right because there's never a right time to say a hard thing you know it's never hard a good time to do the right thing it's always the right time and also got to remember that everything life throws at you is made to test you it's testing to see whether you're worthy of all the things you have accomplished whether you're worthy of keeping it then it tests you even more to see are you worthy of getting more than you have right now are you able to sustain it are you willing to pay the price you know become a leader manager you want to have your own business it's got to test you because to give you those fruits it only gives it to those who are worthy to whom much is given much is required are you worthy life is meant to strengthen you eat out the weakness in you to make you stronger because as the saying goes tough times make strong men and strong men bring good times but easy times breed weak men and weak men breed bad times you want to have a good time with yourself with your life you want your family to enjoy your presence your friends to enjoy your presence everyone around you to feel good safe and secure around you you must go through the tough times so you can be a strong warrior so you too can breed good times so enjoy it there's always a way around it there's always someone who knows more so enjoy it and there's a verse that says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and faith and a future So I dare you to trust in him with your plans. I dare you to trust in his process. I dare you to believe in him.